When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. So the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with it? Me tonight. Good YouTube, it's your boy T and I'm back with another video, man. And today we gonna be talking about Mo3. Alright, so look, man. Now Mo3, right? That's my guy. Like if you're in the city of Dallas, Texas, right? And you're listening to this right now, and you are a rapper. He's better than you. Like he's dead, right? But he's still doing better than you but this video ain't about mo3 right it's about his mom uh, nicole noble shout out to her she actually has her own song out it's called no weapon go check it out if you haven't i mean seriously her music video got more views than most people in the dfw area i mean i'm just telling y'all the stats like her song literally has more views but anywho uh i came across a video of uh, her speaking about Mo3. It was her, uh, FBG Duck's mom, Lil Snoop mom, and I think Tuka mom. If I'm missing anybody, calm down. My bad. And of course, I'm not going to play the video because, well, I don't want to get copyright. The footage looked like it was probably some behind the scenes of a, of a show or something, a TV show. If I'm not mistaken, maybe this is the event that, uh, Charleston White put together to give the mothers of deceased rappers a platform to uh, speak their voice. But for this video, I'ma only speak on uh, Mo3's mom. Now she actually described in detail uh, the day that Mo3 died, like how she found out and everything. She said she was actually trying to call Mo3 that morning. She's going to get her hair done. But she noticed that she didn't have her phone. She left her phone at the gas station. And then in the 15 minutes or so, when she finally made it to the gas station, she said she got her phone and she saw that there was a lot of missed calls. Missed calls, missed tape. And she noticed a lot of those calls was from her other son, her youngest son, Kogadi. So she returned the call. And that's when uh, Kogadi let her know that uh, Mo3 was shot. So she said she GPS the uh, hospital. I think she said it was in Oak Cliff and she made her way there. And she said in this whole time frame, but she said about after two hours of waiting in the lobby of the uh, hospital, the doctors came out and gave her the unfortunate news that uh, Mo3 died. And she said ever since that day, it hasn't been a day she hasn't listened to Mo3 music, looked at a music video of them, she said every single day she try to make sure she can still uh, look at him. Look, man, I don't get sad often, but that video sad as hell, dog. Like the whole thing. Not only Mo3, mom, but the entire, uh, it was like 20 minutes of what I saw. That entire thing was just sad. Three of those four died over beef. Two of those four, hell, they had kids. The other two, well, they were literally kids. I mean, how old was Lil Snoop? I think he was only like 18 or 19, right? And Tuka, he was younger than that. And now I'm just looking at this room full of uh, four older women. I don't know their age in particular, but I, I know they're probably at least uh, late 30s, early 40s, uh, older than that, I don't know. But the point is, they outlived their sons. Like, that's mind-blowing to me. And that's why I'm not a fan of all of these diss songs, bro. Like, be wrong. Like, when rappers are having a rap beef, cool. But when it turns into on smoking on your dead people and all of this, that's when I really can't get down with it. One of the biggest reasons I don't cover a lot of Chicago rappers or a lot of New York rappers. Most of it is just drill rap. I mean, don't get me wrong. I definitely listen to it. But in order for me to listen to it, you got to be extremely talented. For example, Mo3, he's so good that even if you don't like that type of rap, you're going to like that type of rap because he executes it well. I mean, think of it like a movie genre. Uh, I don't really like musicals, but if I see a good musical, I will watch it. 
It just has to be good enough uh, to grab my attention. And with the drill song, I mean, the artist got to be good enough to grab my attention. But I'm going to leave it there, though. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram at TZFBaby252. But long little more three. I'm gone. Yeah, what we doing, mama? Y'all see this? It. You know what I mean? Y'all see her look? Got my mama the big ass hair. You know what I mean? You like that baby? You like that baby? I love it. <laughs> we blessed. We blessed, baby. I'm gang, man. You like that? Prolific. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this.